Well, hello folks, this is Jamil Swift for Gunstruck Reviews, and today we are going to uh, finish this uh, build I did with Luth AR parts on a stripped DPMS lower. Um, I promised I was going to do this. We're going to finish putting the enhancer kit, the Luth AR enhancer kit. Um, it consists of the paddle, the switch, and the trigger guard. I already had put the uh, paddle on it previously. When I did the first build, I didn't have the switch or the chubby, and I also got the uh, trigger guard. So let's go ahead and um, do this. The first thing, we're going to make sure the rifle is clear. It's completely clear. And we're going to remove the bottom from the top. Use a punch to punch this part out because it's kind of tight. You just needed a little tap, a little love tap. And we don't need this, so we're going to work only on the lower. The cool thing about it is to do the grip and the switch, we can do them at the same time because you need to remove the grip to change the switch, and we're going to change the uh, grip anyhow. So let's go ahead and do that first. Now that it's loose, I'm going to remove the old grip, carefully keeping tabs for what you do with your spring. Those springs are kind of dangerous because they run away from you and then you can't find them ever again. Next step, we're going to remove the old selector. Well, the selector is held by a detent that goes in there. So we're going to remove the detent too but you don't have to remove the detent, just basically wiggle it around. And this is the switch. The detent is still there. You're gonna put the switch in and make sure the detent is out of the way using a punch. You push the detent out of the way and put your selector switch in, being careful that that detent is still in place. Now we're going to put the grip on. So we're going to turn it around so you folks can actually make sure the detent, the selector is in. You have to hold it with your hand. And we're going to put the grip in, but carefully making sure that we put our spring in that is going to push the detent. This part is where you lose parts all the time. There you go. You have tension, and we're going to use the same screw you took out, even though uh, this is a one that I came with a kit with the original kit, so I am going to use the same screw. Make sure you don't over tighten this. It just need it needs to be snug. This I have yet to see one of these come off. So let me just put enough pressure in it to be snug. We're good to go there. Your selector switch is there. This selector is really big. You can't miss it. it. Gives you a positive when you're shooting it. Using the chubby that has the thumb rest in there, it's really easy to take, put on and take off and set to fire. Okay, now we're going to install the trigger guard. Take the old trigger guard out to install the new trigger guard. Use a punch and a small hammer to push out the roll pin. That was simple. trigger guard out. You may want to save your trigger guard. I happen to have about 20 of those things at home. Um, you can never have too many of them, but um, we're not going to use it anymore because once you put the Luth AR trigger guard, it's going to position your finger at the right place to have a consistent trigger pull. You remove the uh, screws that come attached on it. 
Okay. And we're going to install it. The way it's installed is offset. The pad is offset, so it's, it's, it's a longer gap on one side and a short gap on the other side. The longer gap goes in the back, and the short gap goes in the front. You line it up, and you put your screws in by hand. Um, I am not going to put any thread locker in here at this moment because I don't think it's necessary. Okay. If you hand tighten, I think it's going to stay. If I see the need for thread locker later, I will put a dab of thread locker in. But remember, do not over tighten your screws and you're set to go. What does this... Um, trigger uh, guard do, if you see, put it on safe, it positions your finger under trigger in the same position all the time, so it's, you get more consistent trigger pulls. It's a really good idea from Luth AR. Really comfortable, and this is the lower enhancer kit. Again, it consists of the paddle, the switch and the trigger guard. Ordered directly from Luth AR. Really cool product. I'm getting ready to take this out to the range and see how good it shoots. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.